guys, so in this video, I will be showing you how I stamp my nails and since this is my first time stamping, there are some things I do not know and it may get a little messy so before anything else, subscribe to my channel if you're new here and let's get into the video. Gagawa ko ng bagong sets and gagamitin ko yung nail stamping kit na pinakita ko on my previous video about sa Shopee Nail Tools collection ko. You can check it out on the cards above. Hindi ko pa nagagamit yung stamping tools pero nagamit ko na yung stamping polish as you can see sa iba kong videos. So ito yung stamping polishes. Pinili ko talaga na maging black and white siya kasi I think marami siyang pwedeng bagay na background color. Kung hindi ako nagkakamali, I think nabili ko siya for around 60 pesos and 15 ml na siya, kaya sulit. Ito naman yung mga scraper, stamper, and nilagay ko yung mga stamping plate sa card holder na nabili ko separately. Yung scraper, stamper, and yung stamping plates, nabili ko siya as a kit and I think it was around 150 pesos and 10 stamping plates na siya with random designs, kaya masasabi ko rin sulit siya. So, yun yung gagamitin natin today and we're gonna use it with poly gel on my left hand para gamit ko yung dominant hand. First things first, we're gonna prep the nails with a cuticle pusher. And to further remove the dead skin, we're gonna use a nail drill. And then we're gonna use this nail file to etch the surface of the nails. Remember that you don't have to put too much pressure, we're just trying to remove the shine. This is sped up but I'm being careful with filing the natural nails. And then we're gonna apply nail dehydrator and primer. This is the Rosalind kit I bought a few weeks back. After that, we're gonna put on some tips, but first select your sizes, making sure that it reach both the sides of the nail and you can make adjustments if you need to.
Then we're gonna trim down the tips to our desired length. You can skip this step if you want to leave the length as is. Once that's done, we're going to shape the tips as close as we want our nails to look like. So, I love coffin nails, so we're gonna shape it as that. Also, don't forget to file the surface of the tips for better adhesion. And then we're gonna apply base coat on all the nails. You mainly want to put on the natural nails but I want to do the whole nail instead. I'm gonna use this alcohol as my slip solution so I'm putting a small amount in my tapping and dish. And we're using this nude pink Paul gel. And then cure that for 60 seconds and do this for the rest of the nails. So I used clear Paul gel on my index and pinky fingers because I have a design in mind so after that we're going to file the nails and shape them. I'm 
going to use this black stamping polish early to paint the index and pinky fingers. So these are the tools we're going to be using. I'm still not sure about the design I'm going to go for but I decide along the way. I initially picked these stamping plates because I like the designs on them but I'm still choosing from the rest. So I took a small amount of white stamping polish in my design and scrape it to cover the whole design and then stamp it for it to be transferred. So here's what it looks. I think na kulangan siya sa dulo, pero I think it looks okay for beginners like me. Siguro I should have measured the design and the length of the nail, but I'll do that next time. Gagamitin ulit natin tong design na to for the pinky finger, so I think I should clean it. I don't know kung okay lang na wag na linisin if you're gonna do the same thing, but I don't want to take the risk na baka magulo yung design, so I'll be using a nail polish remover to wipe off the previous polish. And one thing that I overlook is the mess it makes, lalo na pag buong nail yung lalagyan mo ng design cause some only put tiny details. So nakalimutan ko na bumili rin ng glue to easily remove the excess stamp na napunta sa skin surrounding the nail. Pwede ko naman siyang linisin using nail polish remover but it's up to you, mas napapabilis ng glue yung ina-apply sa gilid ng nail to clean the excess. So I think okay na yung stamping design for this set so we're gonna finish it off with top coat. And I also decided to put some cuticle crystals. And lastly, we're gonna apply cuticle oil. And that's it! So here's what my nails look like. It's super cute and I enjoy using these stamping tools. I will probably do more in the future videos. So I also hope you enjoy watching this video as much as I do. So please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below suggestions on what I should do next. Also follow me on Instagram at the Happy Fingers. And if you're new here, subscribe to my channel, turn on my post notifications, and I'll see you on the next one.